All right, guys, it's 6.30 in the morning. I know you guys can't see me because it's dark and I don't wanna turn on any lights, but um, I'm really hoping that something steps out this morning and I can make a good shot. So I'll see you guys in the blind. A group of three does came down off of the ridge and hung out with me for quite a while. Uh, they looked pretty familiar to me because I've been watching them on my trail cameras for a while now. Um, it's two bigger does with a little baby, and the baby's actually still drinking milk and was pretty goofy, but they were so sweet and licking each other, and it was really neat to watch. They were kind of skeptical of this new blind that had been put up, but as far as I could tell, they really didn't notice that I was there. Another group of does came passing through. I was really hoping a buck may be following them. This was pretty early in the season. I would say just pre-rut. Um, but this is a pretty popular little passageway here, I guess you could call it. It's between two main food sources on the farm. Um, lots of acorns on either side of this uh, ridge top here. And there's also an old watering hole where there used to be cows. So it seems like a lot of deer pass through right here. Well guys, it was a good morning. Uh, the wind picked up a little bit. Stay tuned.
out of respect for that beautiful animal, I did not want to share the clips of what happened after I shot my arrow. I can't describe what I had to witness, but it was the most earth-shattering, devastating, torturous, disgusting thing that I've ever had to watch. I never want to watch an animal suffer, and watching that was pretty awful. <sighs> For about 30 or 40 seconds, he was struggling on the ground, and I didn't foresee him getting back up. I mean, after I fired my arrow, he smacked down pretty hard, and but I did know it was a bad shot. It was a terrible shot. It was too far to the left. I hit right in front of his shoulder, was obviously aiming right behind it, and I guess buck fever got the best of me. I don't really know what happened. My shots were perfectly on while I was target practicing a hundred million times before this hunt. And he got up and he walked into the woods to the left of your screen. There's so many different ways that I've played this out in my head. And if I could go back, I would have done it a million different ways. So please give me a break in the comments. I feel really ashamed as a hunter. I really, I really never want to even hunt ever again. That was extremely hard to watch. I haven't gone looking. It just, that was an awful shot. I don't know what happened. I just feel like I'm going to throw up. Like, I just feel awful. <sighs> After sitting in the blind and uh, watching so many does and come through and the way that they interact and the babies and I saw one drinking milk from the mom and uh just like playing with each other and giving each other kisses and I love animals so much I grew up being a hunter and um I, I it's just I love harvesting my own meat and um respecting nature and in every aspect of everything that I do so, for me to be sitting here knowing what just happened and thinking that that deer is suffering right now and that I might not find it is earth shattering to me. Um, I know everybody makes mistakes, but it was extremely hard to watch that play out like that. That was such a beautiful deer and uh <clears throat> this is extremely hard for me to rewatch, relive and edit this for you guys but um it also makes me feel very vulnerable and a lot of humility here um obviously I wish I could redo so many things and a lot of people probably wouldn't even show this or tell anybody that this happened, but I knew in my gut it was such a bad shot um, that I just felt like, the, you know, the deer had not expired and I didn't want to push it further away, so 
after I sat there and cried and felt sorry for myself for a while, I went and looked for a little bit of a blood trail just to see how much blood I was working with at the site where I shot, tracked it for about 20 yards, and decided to wait till the next day. I found a guy who had a blood tracking hound, um, so I called him up and he met me over there the following day. I also saw these beautiful little does on the way back over the next day. Out of New York, there's a couple up there that's been training dogs for like three decades doing this. Goodness. Um. This is Blair and his bloodhound Enzo. They helped me search and search for this beautiful eight-point buck, but we were not able to find him. Blair thinks that there's a strong possibility he survived, and I may see him again later in the season. I ended up taking a road trip to the beach to clear my mind, get some fresh salty air, and just try to process everything that had happened. Say goodbye to my boat for the winter. See you next spring, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.